Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 9 before going ahead with part 10. Now that uh, we have studied the basics of thermodynamics, we have also learnt about the zeroth law and the first law of thermodynamics. This is time to discuss some of the special thermodynamic processes. We will discuss or I will introduce as well as discuss in detail some of the thermodynamic processes. So before we go into those processes, it is necessary that we study about certain terminologies related to thermodynamics. So we will start with something called quasi-static process. What is quasi-static process? In simple English, what does static means? Static means something which is at rest something which is not moving and dynamic means something which is moving right so if i say quasi static quasi means the term quasi means something which is partial that is semi you can say semi static that means something which is not purely stationary or it is not purely fixed or not purely moving so what do I mean, what do I mean, exactly mean by a quasi-static process? The first thing is quasi-static process is a hypothetical construct. What do I mean by hypothetical construct? It means that in reality there is nothing called quasi-static. Right? In reality we don't see any such thermodynamic process which is semi-static, neither fully static nor fully dynamic. So it is a hypothetical construct. Now you will say if it doesn't exist in reality then what is the point of studying this or why was this process, why did this process ever evolve? That is because when you go for uh, your higher studies in science or when you go into your research fields there are many things which you have to consider or which you have to consider as a hypothesis. Because using that you reach to many other things because using that concept you build many other concepts which are real life concepts. So this quasi static process also has a significance of that sort. As we go ahead I will tell you what, what is the significance of quasi static process. So quasi static process is an infinitely slow process. So basically what happens in a quasi static process is Whenever a system departs infinitesimally from its original state such that the depart such that the way it is moving from its original position that is not at all visible then we call that process as a quasi static process. Let me give you an example from your day to day life. Let us suppose that a, a person let us suppose this is our Ronnie. Ronnie is standing at this position. Now Ronnie has to go from this point to this point. Now suppose Ronnie takes big steps in once. He takes big big steps and reaches that point in just four steps. Right? So when Ronnie moves from this position to this position, you can very clearly see his movement you can very clearly visualize his change in position right so the process is quite fast i mean you can see that he is changing his position and he reached that place because he is moving fast now consider another situation where ronnie is initially standing again at the same point he moved very little he moved so little that he moved from this point to say this point. Now when you see Ronnie moving from this point to this point, you will not even observe that he changed his position or you will not even realize that he moved. But actually he moved. But for somebody who is seeing the movement or the change is so small that it is not observed. Now suppose if Ronnie keeps taking such small small steps and keeps moving ahead it will be something like you will not realize his change in position because he is moving very slowly but at one point of time you will realize that he reached his destination right 
So quasi static process is something very similar to this. This process takes place very slowly and the way it departs from its original state it is almost not observable. You don't realize that it is moving from one state to another state. Now here it was position but when we talk of a process it talks about state. It is moving from one state to another state. What is a state? A state is nothing but a condition which is defined by the variables pressure, volume or temperature. So system changes its variables pressure, temperature, volume so slowly that it remains in equilibrium with its surroundings throughout. Because the, your variables don't change that rapidly. Because you change your state in such a way that the difference of the new variables with the initial variables is negligible. So all the time your system remains in equilibrium with the surroundings. That is for example if you want to take a gas from some initial state say Pt which is defined by let us suppose you have any gas whose initial state is defined by pressure P temperature T. You want to take this gas to a new state defined by P dash T dash. So what you can do you change the surrounding pressure by very small amount by very infinitesimal amount then allow the system to reach that pressure and continue till P reaches P dash. Let us suppose you make the surrounding pressure to increase by very very small amounts. So your system will gradually reach that pressure and in due course of time it will reach the final pressure. Now the question is which processes are approximated to quasi-static process. So which kind of processes fall under such category or what are the characteristics that what are the characteristics that show that this process is a quasi-static process. The first criteria is extremely slow processes. Quasi-static processes are extremely slow. Any fast process cannot be quasi-static because a process which takes place rapidly, it will not be in equilibrium with the surroundings because there will be marked difference in its macroscopic variable. So it will not be in equilibrium. Process not involving accelerated motion because wherever you will have accelerated motion, you will have change in the macroscopic variables. And accelerated motion also signifies fast processes. Processes not involving large temperature gradient. This is very important. What do you mean by temperature gradient? Temperature gradient is nothing but the difference in temperature. Let us suppose you have a process where the initial temperature is T1 and the final temperature is T2. Right. So when if the difference between T1 and T2 is very high and your process in, and the system is changing from its initial state T1 to final state T2 then it cannot be a quasi-static process because as I told you quasi-static process should take place in such a way that there is very small temperature gradient. The difference between temperature should be very small. So these are the three things which characterize a process as a quasi-static process. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.